All right, uh, this is my security camera. And I can kind of go back in time, 10 days, and it's pointing east. Friday, I noticed a lot of chemtrails. Um, let's go to the morning. Now this was, I was went outside and I was filming the moon and Venus a little bit. And I went back inside for coffee. And while I was inside, all these trails started. I mean, just like really bad. I've never seen them quite this bad. I mean, we usually get it a little bit, but um, never like this. And then Friday afternoon, you know, they came back with some. But um, yeah, I can go all the way back 10 days. Uh, you go back Wednesday, you know, you didn't really see any. Uh, here's Wednesday morning, it was pretty clear. And go back Tuesday, nothing really, a few clouds. Don't look like really any trails that day. Uh, Go back to last Monday. Uh, with some clouds, but nothing. It could have been a little bit. It's just mostly looked like clouds that day. Uh, you saw in the morning there was nothing. Uh, Sunday. There might have been a couple of trails in there. So there's one. This normally we get, you know, just a little bit, one or two. You'll see. You know, some days it's worse than others, just like everybody knows. This was the 23rd. They had some not horrible. Like Friday was the worst. I think I've I've noticed in a very long time. It seems like the more we people are noticing it. I don't know, maybe the worst they're doing it to us. I, who knows? But you can't tell me there's no air traffic on any of these other days. I mean, the whole contrail thing is just nonsense. Because you know there's traffic in the air all these other days, but planes weren't leaving trails. You know, if you think about, um, you know, if there were contrails, you know, condensation trails, how could, you know, Military planes would get shot down all the time if you know you could follow the trail right to them <laughs> and shoot them down. So you know there's something different going on. You know I work near a base, a military base. I watch those jets fly around all day. They don't leave the trails like these other planes do. Yeah, you know. but anyway, I am going to show you. Some film I took Friday with the P-1000. I got some good up close shots. <clears throat> All right, these are just some good close up shots I took with my P-1000. <clears throat> I mean, you can try to deny that they're spraying something, but. Uh, I'm gonna go through some patents here in just a minute and you know share what's really going on. People who are not awake to this, you really, really need to start looking up in the sky and start paying attention. <clears throat> I said planes don't make these trails every day, and you, know, you can believe the mainstream lies if you want to. Uh, it's just condensation trails. You know, condensation trails don't go from horizon to horizon. I don't care what you say. They don't spread out and make a milky haze all across the sky. They're spraying stuff up there, people. Let's see, we're going to look at some patents here in a minute. I'm going to show you. <clears throat> this is all it's all out in the open now that they admit they're doing it all you have to do is do the research uh, 
is a Southwest Airlines plane, I believe. Yeah, here's the year. It says Southwest on it. I tried to edit this a little bit and cut out some of the real bad spots, but it is not easy <laughs> to follow playing when you're zoomed in that close on it. And if it weren't for those trailers, you wouldn't be able to see the planes. <clears throat> in the days you don't see trails, you really think there are no planes flying up there? <laughs> Man, like I said before, I watch military planes, especially like fighter jets and stuff. You can watch them all day long, and they do not leave those trails. If they did, they, you know. First time they went in enemy territory, they'd be shot down. All the enemy would have to do is just follow the trail right to the plane. <sighs> and a condensation trail is actually formed off the wingtips. And it doesn't come from the engines. The thing that causes a plane to fly is the low pressure on what was it the low pressure on the top of the wing, high pressure on the bottom. It it can form that pressure difference can form ice crystals or uh condensation trail but it disappears immediately <clears throat> they do not do this all right I found this uh, this little meme somebody put together on Facebook and I know you can say oh, it's just a meme but I looked up a few of these I have not looked up all of them I would take quite a while but I'll go through a f just a couple of them here with you like I looked up this first one here just Google US patent 8373962 and let's see right here patents google.com patent US 8373962 charged seed cloud as a method for increasing particulate collisions and for scavenging airborne biolog biological agents and other contaminants Okay, an article talks about, even mentions anthrax in here. Um, you know, this is a U.S. patent. It, uh, it exists. I mean, I've, I might have to find it, but if you can go back and look at videos about cloud seeding. You know, they're doing the 1950s. You know, and they say this, this patent was just applied for, and, well, this might be charged see cloud so that might be different than the what they were doing in the 50s but um I mean, look at all the stuff in this article uh, 2006 got background invention you can look at here's a weather weather.com this is the weather channel 
A team of Harvard scientists is poised to conduct the first sun dimming experiment in early 2019. So they're just starting to admit they're doing it. They've been doing this for years, people. A geoengineering technique that researchers hope will help keep global warming at bay. So, you know, they're, they have to lie to us and tell us they need to block out the sun for our own benefit. Uh, the sun is what gives us life. Um, the Earth goes through natural cycles. That's why they call it climate change now. I remember when I was, I remember when I was a kid, they was talking about uh, they're afraid the Earth is going to go into an ice age. It was global cooling was supposed to be happening. Now it's global. Then it was global warming. Now they just call it climate change because they can't make up their mind. You know. <clears throat> but you know, stratospheric controlled. perturbation experiment you know this is talking about doing it from balloons filled with calcium carbonate the common ingredient in acid, in an acid. Um, and you can just google geoengineering you know on Wikipedia they talk about climate engineering or climate intervention commonly referred to as geoengineering is the deliberate and large-scale intervention in the earth's climate system usually with the aim of mitigating the adverse effects of global warming. Usually. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what else they're doing. The other sinister reasons behind it. But, you know, man should not be tampering with the weather. You know, I don't care what you say. Um, you know, you read article after article after article about geoengineering. It exists. And that's what these airplanes are spraying in our skies above us without our permission, without our consent. Um, let's look at another one of these patents. Is it 0117003? I said it was uh, 0117003. 0117003. It's this one. This is another geoengineering method. A business method for providing an emissions trading approach value to products and services that provide active cooling of the earth that provides a sustainable means for global cooling strategies to achieve commercial value in order to drive development and real world applications of these approaches comprising the steps of manufacturing a light scattering nanoparticle 527 deploying the stratospheric nanoparticles for reducing solar radiation incident on the earth receiving carbon counterbalance credits in exchange for local national regional or international benefits derived from said deployment of 547 that is and derives income from selling said credits in order to create sustainable and viable business Systems, devices, and agents for deployment in accordance with the business method are also disclosed. Okay. Now, this is all just wild conspiracy theory, right? You know. I mean, come on, people. Just look into this stuff. It's not that hard. All of the information is here. They are spraying the skies with crap. They're trying to block out the sun. I mean, all this carbon crap, carbon tax, global warming. And why would the airlines do it? Well, it's business. They're paying them to do it. And they're not doing it for free. Uh, let's look at another one. Let's see. Let's go to 807 -9545. Eight zero seven nine five four five. Like I said, um, system method and apparatus for ground-based manipulation and control of aerial vehicle during non-flying operations. Okay, I think this is talking about unmanned drones. Uh, 
Yeah, it's talking about how they can remotely fly planes. No UAVs and stuff. Uh, so, you know, some of those planes spraying the stuff <laughs> could be unmanned. Um, let's look up another one here. Let's go to 764-5326. Seven, six, four, Oh, this is an interesting one. RFID environmental manipulation. A system and method to reduce signal to noise ratio within an RFID enabled warehouse or distribution center by introducing highly reflective aluminum oxide particulate into the atmosphere environment of the warehouse or distribution center. The aluminum oxide will be comprised of nano sized particulate manufactured in aerosol format. This particulate will be introduced into the environment through the auspices of the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system uh, mechanism, I'm sorry, associated with the environment. The levels of particulate will be monitored through the use of strate uh, strategically placed sensors in order to maintain regulatory compliance. Furthermore, the signal to noise ratio will be enhanced by reducing ambient noise emanating from light fixtures in the environment through the strategic placement of the infer uh, I don't know what that says, inferential filters. Furthermore, the signal to noise ratio from man made sources will be reduced by using horizontally configured backscatter transmitting antenna within the environment. Okay, they're talking about this within a building, but we've all. <clears throat> We've all heard about them spraying aluminum nanoparticles into the air. I mean, this is probably a small scale testing they're doing. Uh, anything else interesting in here? Let's so see, you can look these up for yourself. You know, read through it, you know, see what you can find. Uh, the system. The system of its invention involves retransmission of a remote interrogation signal from a source such as a cellular telephone transmission tower herein after the remote interrogation signal. The system of this invention involves an antenna external to the environment which gathers, captures, and collects the initial microwave electromagnetic signal which comprises the remote interrogation signal. Santana then retransmits the remote interrogation signal through the process of modulation and re-radiation in the attachment to the antenna known as the transformer. Wow, and does this sound and get radiation and all this crap through cell phone towers? I mean, come on. It's all right here. I mean, I'm not going to read every bit of this to you. You know, pause the video here. Start looking up these numbers. See what you find. I mean, it's all laid out in black and white, people. We have to wake up before it's too late. This 5G system's coming. It's all tied together. This crap they're spraying in the air and the 5G. You've just seen cell towers. They're, they're planning something big. Um, don't know what. I don't know why. Or maybe it's just part of Agenda 21. They're trying to give everybody cancer and all these other diseases faster. You know, I mean, the, what happens to a piece of tinfoil when you put it in the microwave? Aluminum. But, fries and pops and sparks up. I mean, they're spraying this crap in the air and filling us all with aluminum. I mean, who's to say one day they won't just flip a switch and <laughs> fry us all like we're in a microwave. I mean, these towers are putting out microwave radiation. I mean, <clears throat> it's all about weapons. that is, They're going to use this against us one day. Uh, if we don't wake up, start doing something about this. I mean, on an individual level, I don't think we can do much, but if everybody awareness is the first step people awareness of this problem is the first step and all you have to do is look into it I said look up some of these numbers 
let me know what let me know what you find in some of these patents. Um, I hadn't looked through all of them. I, in the few coming weeks, I will look at more and and see what I find. See any interesting stuff. If I find something real interesting, I will share it. Well, that's all I got for this one. Y'all be safe out there.